Hello and welcome to The Hero Breakdown, where we put a hero under the magnifying glass and give you all the tools you need to help you on your journey. This time, we'll be taking a look at Malok, the Merciless. You can acquire Malok by retrieving a rare pendant from the Lucky Draw shop. Malok is a melee warrior tank who leads the charge against opponents, soaking up damage whilst being able to dish out a truckload himself. Let's dive into Malok's abilities. Plunder is passive, gives Malok a longer range than other melee heroes. In addition to this, when his weapon is enchanted, his normal attacks deal true damage instead of physical and restore 2% of his missing HP. Well, how does Malok enchant his blade? Well, it's by using his first ability, Cleave. Malok swings his blade, dealing physical damage. If Cleave hits an enemy hero, his blade will then become enchanted. If Malok uses this ability whilst his blade is enchanted, he will deal true damage instead of physical damage and recover missing HP for every enemy hero he hits. Soul Eater is Malok's second ability. Malok will deal a small amount of damage, applies a slow to his enemies, but most importantly gains a shield that increases for every enemy this ability hits. And now for the fun part. Malok takes the disguise using his ultimate ability, Shock. This allows him to reposition to a target location with some devastating effects. Upon landing, Malok knocks up enemies in the target area and deals physical damage to all those afflicted. But that's not all. Enemies attempting to enter or leave the area after Malok has landed will be slowed. Malok should be played in the Dark Slayer lane, using the early game to farm up and assist his teammates in early to mid game skirmishes. Your job, when the time comes, is to use your ultimate to separate fights and pick off the weaker enemies that have now been separated from their reinforcements. You have sustain, shields, and damage, so don't be afraid to put yourself in an aggressive position. As long as you and your team are not too far behind, they can catch up to you and turn the tide of the fight. You can't win the game by yourself, so who would be joining Malok on the battlefield? There are plenty of options, but here's a few we think will make the difference. Alice. Alice can speed you up to make sure you land your cleaves, and Hissy Fit can provide that extra level of crowd control to make sure your shock lands on all of your intended targets. Azankar. Azankar's slows and knockups can help you stick to the targets and make sure your abilities are hitting multiple enemies. But it's a game of give and take. You can use your shock to give Azankar's ultimate, Sand Wraith, a few more seconds to work its magic. While you're in a brush, your animations are hidden. Use this to set up a trap to enchant your blade before your enemy even knows they're in danger. Soul Eater gains strength even from minions and monsters. While in lane, try to hit both your opponents and the minion wave to gain a larger shield. Shock can be used defensively to buy your carries more time to escape and get back to safely dealing damage. Don't be afraid to do this, especially if your carries are the players winning your team fights. If you're heading into battle, you need the right gear. For Malok, we recommend one damage item, your choice of boots, and a whole bunch of defensive items. Spear of Longinus will increase your physical damage, reduce your ability cooldowns, and give you some early armor. Amulet of Longevity will increase the strength of all of your self-healing, so you can be a fawn in your enemy's collective sides for longer. You're going to be the center of attention for a lot of the team fights in the matchup, so make sure you pick up a Mail of Pain. This will reflect the enemy's normal attack damage back onto them. This makes sure they're being punished on two fronts. These are a few items we recommend. But always remember you should be flexible with your item builds. No two games are the same, so pay attention to what your opponent's strengths and weaknesses are and buy accordingly. That's about all the time we have. Stay tuned to our social media channels for more hero breakdowns, top five plays, and spotlights. We'll see you on the ladder.